which the piece of wood that our thing, our frame is made out of, so that we can actually drill a hole here for the trigger mechanism to go into. So there's that. We're actually going to make it out of a 2x4 piece. Um, and today I'm going to be joined with my dad while cutting this. And yeah, we'll, we'll see about that. Sorry if I'm a little quiet. I'm standing pretty far away. Pause. Okay. Um. Oh. Um. Yeah, sorry about that. Um. This is a jigsaw. This is what we're going to use to uh, cut this frame out. And we are sacrificing a little bit of the bottom of it. It won't be too bad, but if you really want it to. You can use something a little bit wider, or longer, um, this angle, width, and, um, that will get you a little bit more to the bottom, and of course, if you have bigger hands, you might need it, but, um, I don't really need that, um, so, I'm going to cut this, and we'll be right back after I pause it. Hmm. Yes. Pausing it. Best thing to do in your spare time. Um, so far, so good. Um, I've cut just a little bit, but I just wanted to, um, let you hear how loud this is. It is very loud, indeed. Um, and yes, I am cutting this. My dad is using the bathroom. Yeah, uh, and I am using the proper safety equipment. So, yes. We're good here. Mm, yeah, I don't know. Well, let's get back to cutting. not deaf at this point um that was just a little sample of what i have to live through when i'm dealing with this so i'm gonna go ahead and pause it again because this is boring i wouldn't want to sit through this i just want to sample the hearing of this section um yeah don't do this at home without your proper safety equipment and stuff so yeah okay we're getting somewhere um as you might be able to see i cut this little area off right here um you just, just want to leave that for now um here's the little piece oh it's warm I actually warm oh my god look at this look at my hand it's all sawdust now i would not recommend doing this with it because you might get a splinter and your finger might die not literally just splinters hurt and you might go to the hospital because of one I know my dad had to it's really bad so you might not want to mess around with this um, bit right here this side at least um you just Throw this off to the side or put it on the shelf that your, uh, your yard has apparently, um, conveniently here. So I can put my tablet up there for you guys. I just put the piece of wood there. 
but I cut that. I still have a decent amount to do. I'll see you when I get another portion done. Um, so yeah. Okay. Um, I just cut off another portion. Um, I'm pretty sure you can see this one too. Um, it's right here. This is the handed bit. Um, here's a closer image. This is what I just cut out right here. Yeah. Nice. Um, here's the um, piece right here. Just like the last one, it's warm. A lot of sawdust. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and saw this piece right here. Just to sever it from the other huge piece of 2x4. Actually, before I do that, I am gonna cut this piece out right here. Where the, the cross section, I guess you would call it, goes. So I could have the string, which pulls back and executes the, the crossbow. So, um, yeah, I'll see you when um, that's done. Okay, uh, trip, almost tripped again. Um, tripping today. Tripping everywhere I go. Um, this is the product of what we cut out from this piece of 2x4. Now, as you can see, it's a lot thicker in uh, width. Um, see, um, this handle right here isn't too comfortable, so I'm probably going to have to um, sand down the sides a little bit, just so um, when I grip it, it'll get cut on the sides. You don't want that when you're handling your crossbow. Um, I also I'm gonna have to see if this is uh, big enough for um what the, the the piece that went in here. It looks about the same, but we can always use a wedge if it's too um big. But if it's too small, we're just gonna have to cut a little bit more out. And if it's too big, then we'll just use a wedge. Um, when in doubt, cut it out. And then use a wedge. That sounds pretty good to me. Um, this video might be shorter than the last one. Um, because most of it was me cutting this out. And that would be pretty boring and loud. You guys probably wouldn't want that. So, I went ahead and cut it out. Did what I wanted to do in this episode. Actually, I might put on the, the piece that goes here, see if it fits. That's, that's what we'll do this, this episode. Just make it a little bit longer. Oh yes, I am wearing a glove in this hand, and not this hand, because I use my right hand for this, and these gloves are a little stiff. Don't know why. I just wanted my hand to be a little warmer. My other gloves right here. No way needs that. Whew. My hand's dirty now. Just wipe on your pants. Then throw your glove. That's what I always do. I know, at least. Okay, moment of truth. We got this piece right here from the other one. It just went right there. And, well, we're just going to slide it on in there. Now, it's a little too big, so what we're going to need is a wedge. Um, I'm going to scrap on the floor here. Uh, this will do for a pretty good wedge. Um, Bar. 
I have the other wedge. The other one. And since this was a little too big, maybe that will work. Um, just right here. Okay. Um, okay. Got a piece. And. Nope, too small. Would well, have figured this is a bigger. Um, anyways. So, um. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out a wedge, and um, I'll see you back in a moment. Okay, you, you might notice some more stuff here, and me wearing a jacket now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm cold, okay? I'm a Floridian. I'm cold. I'm not used to the winter time, but the winter time is the best time. So, I'm not complaining. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take your shim. That's what this is called. Um, and you want to take your crossbow. And you want to find the center of your crossbow with, with a um, measuring tape or ruler or whatever you have to your disposal. And then um, you want to find the center of your little cross piece right here the the same thing that you use to measure your board and then after you do that you you're gonna line them up and what you want to do is you want to take your convenient um axe type thing and use the back side you want to hammer it down until you get what you want. Um, well, yeah. And for people, you just threaten them with this side until you get what you want. Both ways. Whatever you do. Just saying. Um, but yeah, you got this now, um, and this right here is a skill saw, and, um, what this does is saws things, and we were trying to saw something for a wedge, but we gave up on that, and we just used a shim. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, hold on, let me get a little closer to the outro. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe. And hey, comment down below if this looks like a crossbow. Um, well, that'll do it for today's two videos of random stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed. Watch out for the next video, where we're gonna pick up where we left off, just like this. I mean, all this stuff probably doesn't need to be... <laughs>